Hello pearls, I am here in my car, which can only mean one thing. Maybe it can mean more than one thing, but for right now in this moment, it means one thing and that is, it's time for a monthly grocery haul. All right, let's get a few things out of the way that we have to do every single video because you guys need to know the good info, right? So make sure you go and check the description box down below because there is a ton of links there for you guys. Let me just name a few. Number one, there's a video in there that kind of describes in more detail how we do our monthly grocery shopping, how we work our budget, how we're able to save up enough money so we can buy all of our groceries at one time because that is exactly what we are doing here today, my pearls. We are buying the entire month's worth of groceries and guess what this month is different from any other month I've ever done I believe I don't think I've ever done a video for this before I am going to do 40 four zero, 40 freezer meals so not only is that going to cover December's monthly meal plan it's going to also cover January December and January for our family is going to be insane I'm launching 30 day family finance rescue which is my online budgeting course to help you stop living that paycheck to paycheck life learn how to set and stick with a budget and start setting some intentional goals setting a goal based budget to help you get insanely motivated and actually stick with it and rescue your family's finances so if that sounds like something that you desperately need in your life then check the links down below it's not open yet for enrollment but it will be soon so sign up for my newsletter and you'll be the first one to know how to get it at the lowest price it will ever be all right so back to meal planning which is a part of the 30-day family finance rescue because it's a huge part of sticking with your budget meal planning saves you so much money and helps you stick to what you set so I have a video on um, kind of the basics of our monthly meal planning, how you can do monthly meal planning and um, monthly grocery shopping. I also have a video describing in detail how we break down our budget and all of those good things. So don't forget to check that out. So we are gonna go and buy groceries for the entire month of December and pretty much the entire month of January. Um, I'm gonna break down the budget for this grocery haul in my meal planning video that is gonna come out tomorrow. So make sure you come back and check it out because it's a little bit more complicated and because my grocery haul videos are already so long because I show you every single item and every single price to go with each item, they just get too long. So I'm gonna break it down in my monthly meal plan which is tomorrow and it's a free printable and all sorts of good stuff for you guys so come back tomorrow for the breakdown um but just to kind of give you a ballpark normally in these videos we spend anywhere from 300 to 380 dollars for this giant monthly grocery haul and then usually between 100 and 100 and $40 so that's 25 to $35 each week for fresh produce um, and milk so that's how we kind of work anything in this monthly grocery haul is for anything that can last 30 days on the shelf or it could be in the fridge freezer or pantry for 30 days um, or longer and then anything fresh we do in those weekly grocery hauls which are like 10 15 minutes tops all right whoo that was a lot of information for this morning. So I have my list right here. I have no kids in the car, no kids with me. Um, today's hubby's day off, so um, we're, it's just a miracle. So we're starting at Target. This is my list for Target. Then we're gonna be going to Sprouts. Actually, we'll probably go to Costco first. Look at this list for Costco. Woo! -hoo! And then Sprouts. And then we're going to, that's it. That's all we're gonna do. Okay, let's go Target. I needed to get some kids some toothpaste. My kids love this Colgate brand. It's $2.99 and that is a 4.6 ounce thing. Another thing I got and forgot to film was this value pack of 120 bandages and it was $7 and I forgot to have it on my list so I added it here. Once I'm all done with all the adjustments then I'll readjust the total. Love Men's Body Wash. It's a 28 ounce for $2.89. I need some new body wash and I just smelled this. It smells really good. It's the Up and Up brand 24 fluid ounces for $349. Now you guys I'm on the hunt for a new deodorant. I usually got this Dove deodorant antiperspirant 
looking for a deodorant that does not have that antiperspirant because I don't want my clothes to be yellow. So I just got the recommendation to try this, but I'm wondering if anybody else has tried any other ones. I tried the coconut vanilla for $11.99. 24 ounces of the Market Pantry sour cream for $2.59. Black Forest ham from the Market Pantry. Um, it is 60 ounces for $4.89. Look at how perfect this is. These are on sale. I need four of these. And I budgeted $10, so that's just perfect. It is the 30 ounce bag of the shredded hash browns Orita, two for five. I'm getting four. I love getting these mini bagels for the kids' lunches. They're the perfect size for our little kids. So it is a 15 ounce package of Thomas mini bagels for $3.49. 16 ounce light ranch, the Market Pantry brand for $1.79. Market Pantry Worcestershire sauce. It is a 10 ounce bottle for $2.39. This is something new that I've never seen before is this large bottle of the Market Pantry Alfredo sauce. So it is a 22 ounce jar. I was planning on getting these at Costco, but because I am not 100% sure they have them at my Costco, I don't want to make extra stops. It's a good price. I'm gonna grab six of these here and then adjust on my grocery list. Planning on getting two cans of these petite diced tomatoes for 79 cents each, but because I'm doing bulk prepping, so I'm, I don't need them separated and I don't have to worry about like saving the extras in a can, I noticed that up here they have the giant size. It's the 28 ounce of the petite diced Market Pantry brand for only $1.29. So I'm getting this instead. I also need to get some lasagna noodles. I don't want the oven ready ones. Do we have regular ones? Anyways, lasagna noodles are good $1.59. Then I also need like the spiral noodles and then angel hair noodles, each 99 cents. Whoops. I had to come back to the frozen section to get corn. This is a 20 ounce bag for $2.09. Five pound bag of white rice for $3.99. Two two pound bags of brown sugar, those are one sixty-nine in. 69 each and then two two pound bags of powdered sugar and those are 169 each as well two cans of kidney beans and those are 79 cents each one and a half ounce jar of crushed red pepper flakes it's the market pantry brand and that was a dollar 29 42 ounce canister of old-fashioned oats for 339 if you watch my Instagram stories you would know that I had to adjust a couple things to make sure that I came in under budget oats was one of those things I was gonna buy like the packets with like the fruit flavors in them but I saved myself five dollars by doing just getting the old-fashioned oats last thing on my list is that I'm gonna get a um, sheet set for our room this is for a king it's a room essentials microfiber $23.99 now normally I would maybe buy something a little nicer because this is like the cheapest ones they have. But I'm planning on redecorating our room soon. Don't know what color scheme I want to do, but I don't want to commit to anything nice until I know what color. So this is what we're going with. A way I keep our grocery budgets um, easy to manage is I separate non-food items from food items. So you can see I have Walmart, but we're at Target. All the food items, my total I adjusted should be around $67, and then non-food items should be around $58. So I actually do two separate transactions when I'm here at Target because I have so many different things. Just makes it easy, easy with my cash budget. I'll leave a link to that video down below, our cash envelope budget, how to start a cash envelope, all those things. We are off to an amazing start. So our total estimated for food was $67 and it came in at $65.22. So we don't have tax on food here, so that's perfect. And then non-food items, the total is 58, but I forgot that my sheets were $5 less than I was planning. So really that should have been 53, but we do have tax on that one. So that total came out to 5607. So we are right on track. We're gonna head to Costco. Well, as I'm sitting here waiting to get gas at Costco, I almost forgot, almost pearls, not quite, but I almost forgot to check my favorite rebate app, which is Ibotta. And I mean, I've been sitting here for two minutes and I saved myself, let's see, probably around, I don't know, 
I didn't get chips, that's for a different store. But um, like $3, which you guys, it adds up, especially when you are scraping by and just trying to make every single penny count, whether you're trying to pay off your debt, whether you're trying to work really hard towards some really cool goals, it doesn't matter. Doing things like this save you a ton of money. Now I did a whole video, I'm not gonna go into detail with you, so I'll link that one below as well, but I bought as my very favorite rebate app. I don't recommend focusing on more than one or two rebate apps because that just takes up too much time. So I'm focusing on your biggest bang for your buck. I bought it out of all the ones that I've tried and I have tried them all and all the new ones, they have the highest value rebates also, I love that they often have rebates on no-name items. So like you saw the chips on there, it's just any bag of chips, which I'll actually be getting at Costco so I can get a rebate for that here. Or sometimes they have rebates on fresh produce as well, which I mean, they're one of the very few, if not the only ones that offer decently valued rebates on those types of things. So um, if you're new to Ibotta and haven't tried it already, use my affiliate link down below, use this code and you will get $10, an extra $10 rebate after you claim your first one here we go into Costco this is the exact reason I like to come shopping first thing in the morning because it gets so crowded and look at this list all these things I need to get from Costco today I might need two parts I think possibly okay, so I have a bunch of frozen chicken at home probably around like eight pounds of frozen chicken but I am, which I normally get, but because Carrie from Happy Money Saver, she, it's her freezer cooking cookbook that I'm using for this month and next month's meal plan. She recommends using fresh chicken if possible when you're making freezer meals. That way um, your meat doesn't get refrozen twice and it'll taste better that way. So that's what I'm doing this time. I'm going with the Foster Farms Fresh and Natural. The, it's the thigh meat, yeah. The thigh meat is the same price as the boneless, skinless chicken tenders. So I'm gonna go with the tenders this time. I needed 12 pork chops. They're $2.69 a pound. Um, I budgeted $20 for them, and these are only $15, which is awesome because the chicken was $5 over what I was planning, and the pork chops are $5 under. So they just cross each other out. Getting these chicken and mozzarella raviolis, you get two 18 ounce packages for $9.99 and then you get two 24 ounce packages of the tortellini which I only need half of this so this will actually be perfect because I can freeze the other half and that's only $9.99. I like to get this sliced Tillamook medium cheddar cheese. It's two and a half pounds for $9.69. I use this for making freezer sandwiches. I'm gonna get this three pound bag of pre-chopped, pre-prepared broccoli for $1.66 a pound. So it's $5, so that is a really good deal. One thing I've noticed when you buy fresh produce, things like broccoli is, it comes with a huge stem, especially if you're paying for organic. So you're for that extra weight so this pre-prepared stuff is actually pretty affordable stocking back up on the Kirkland brand paper towels they're $15.99 and then way over there I'm also stocking back up on the Kirkland brand toilet paper $16.99 yes I'm so excited last time I came to get the um, Kirkland brand laundry pods they didn't have them you get 152 for $17.99 the last time I bought the liquid and I go through it probably four times as fast as I go through these and it's the same price so this is awesome I already have a plenty of these at home but since I'm talking about freezer meals this month I needed to point it out that if you get these half size steam pans it's a 30 count for $7.69 they are perfect for freezer meals I also like them during the holidays because you can just bring your contribution to the meal in one of these and not have to worry about bringing your pan home and this is the best price you'll find anywhere. Yes, they have these back in stock too. It's the Bear Fruit Organic Fuji Apples. They're 14 ounces for only $9.89. They only have them um, occasionally. So if you have the cash, stock up. I don't, so we're only getting one. I get these all the time, but they are just so convenient for luncheons. So with the crazy month coming up, I'm getting these 54. They're like the tiny bags of chips, which is great for our little kids and that is $12.99. I got a lot of slack for buying paper plates last month, but guess what? I'm doing it again, 225 paper plates for $14.39. We have no dishwasher and we have lots of guests this month, so 
Here we go. Along the same lines, I'm getting this 500 count of the white spoons for $10.59. Man, they don't have their paper bowls. I was gonna get some of those too. Just gonna ruin the whole earth with all the paper I'm using. I appreciate your concern, but we're doing what we gotta do. I am getting this mac and cheese this month or this week to have for dinner tonight actually. So it is on sale for $2 off per package. Um, so that makes them about $11 for dinner tonight. Getting the two pound bag of the Kirkland Signature um, cooked shrimp. It's about 50 to 70 of them and it's $15.69. One meal planning fail or grocery haul fail that I'm already noticing is that I did not include tilapia on my grocery list. Nor did I do chicken heads. Anyways, with the tilapia, it was gonna be for fish tacos. So since that's gonna be like 15 to $20 for the tilapia, I'm just gonna scrap it and we're just gonna do chicken tacos. Again, because we're meal prepping, I need a lot of a different thing. So this is the three pound container of um, cottage cheese for $4.99. For butter, I'm going to get, this is what I get. Every single time you get four pounds for $11, so that's about $2.76 per container and I'm getting two of them. And then eggs, I know lots of people tell me you get them a lot cheaper other places, but California, this is a pretty good deal. It's $8.89 for a 60 count, so it's about $1.77 per dozen. The sliced oven roasted Kirkland brand turkey breast, it's three 14 ounce containers for $10. Nestle chocolate chip semi-sweet morsels, 72 ounces for $8.99 great price it's cheaper than the kirkland brand but if you need to the kirkland brand is actually dairy free kirkland two pack two and a half pounds of the shredded of the shredded cheese is 12.89 and i'm also getting two two and a half pound bags of the shredded mozzarella Ugh. shredded mozzarella two pounds of the shredded parmesan for $9.59. Avocado oil, this has become my favorite cooking oil. It has a high burning temperature, and then also, which means it's not gonna like brown and make your food gross. So you get this giant 33 point out fluid ounces for only $9.69. You're gonna get half the size and pay more than that anywhere else. This 25 pound bag of flour is only $5.59 which is exactly what I need. 70 ounces of the Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats is $8.99. Two 48 ounce packages of the Skippy Creamy Peanut Butter is only $9.49. Nature Valley Crunchy Oats and Honey Granola Bars. These are my kids' favorite that all three of them really like. You get a 49 pack each with two bars and that's $11.95. I'll use whatever leftover bread I have laying around, but by choice, um, my daughter really likes these gourmet hot dog buns. You get 12 count for $2.49 for making freezer sandwiches with the like deli meats. I'm also gonna get the 24 count of the burrito size flour tortillas, and that's $3.69. Look, I made a good choice. Though this Bertoli brand is probably gonna taste a lot better, you get four small 15 ounce bottles for $6.99. So what I bought at cost, I mean at Target, was a much better deal. I do need a lot of pasta sauce. I'm gonna go for this Prego 260 ounce, 267 ounce bottles for $6.99. Eight 15 ounce jars of the black beans, organic black beans, $6.49, which makes them about five cents per ounce. Less than a dollar a can. Holy options for chicken broth at Costco, my goodness. So I was thinking I was gonna buy these big giant containers because I'm doing, again, bulk cooking. But if you look at the prices, the ones in the cans are half the price, probably because it's not organic. But these are 12, 14 ounce cans. Um, works out to about three, four cents per ounce. So it's 6.29 for these 12 cans. I need some salsa. Our Costco always has the pace, which is about seven cents per ounce, or the Kirkland brand, which is organic, and it's 10 cents per ounce. Side note, this one has sugar added, paste does not. So if that's a contributing factor to your decision, choose accordingly. I think this one tastes better. All right, I found it. Minced garlic in water, 48 ounces for 4.59. This is not it. A guy went to go get it because it's all the way up there. So I'll be waiting. 
making a ton of recipes that need a ton of minced garlic. So I'm gonna cheat this time. Go underneath our snacks category. I'm gonna get this Crunch Master Multigrain Six Seed Gluten Free 28 ounce package of crackers for $6.79. And then we'll also be getting the baked goldfish crackers. 58 ounces for $8.99. Okay, Hubby and I and Mab, we all love these. The Dukes brand smoked shorty sausages. There are 16 ounces for $11.69. What's awesome about these is, is that they have really clean ingredients. If you watch my Instagram stories, you know this lady loves her popcorn. So there's 44 bags. There's 44 bags of microwave popcorn for $9.79. Here we go. This is everything I needed from Costco. They didn't have the rice noodles that I needed. So I made all the adjustments to my grocery list. Let me show you all the adjustments, my snack total. So all the adjustments here, my total should be around 346 for food and then plus around 92 for non-food. I still have one more store, so do you want to just heat the kids up some of those real tacos and give that to them for dinner and then you, can, you and I can eat after bedtime? All right, thanks. Perfect, thanks. I love it when things just are working out so well. This doesn't happen all the time. Okay, so my food, I was estimating around 346, and then non-food, I was estimating around 82 because they didn't have the paper bowls that I needed. So what I do at Costco, because I have to like, puzzle piece all my groceries into the cart. It's just way too hard and inconvenient to do two separate transactions. So I added the 346 plus the 82 and that's estimating $5 in um, taxes. So I was estimating to pay around 426. You can see that my taxes were 589, making my total 414. So we are again, right on track. Man, see how I have gluten flour on here? that for a bread recipe that's like the best bread recipe ever. I'm gonna have to ask my mother how we're gonna get them because they don't have it here anymore. Four red bell peppers, they're a dollar each. Have you guys ever had these opal apples? They are good. I had them last time I bought, I had a rebate on them. They're 148 a pound, which normally I try to stick to 98 cents a pound or cheaper, but we're gonna splurge. I am getting three limes, they're three for a dollar, and then I'm getting one lemon. Actually, I'm just thinking I do have some frozen lemons, so I'm gonna use that because I just need the citrus and the juice. I need three onions, and those are 99 cents a pound. Again, going for the convenience factor, I'm gonna pay $1.99, for a bag of shredded carrots, and that is an eight ounce bag. Cilantro is actually kind of expensive right now, 77 cents for one bunch. I need two pounds of stew meat, and this is $4.99 a pound. Last thing on the list is I am getting sliced steak for recipe, so I'm just gonna do the stir fry steak at $7.99, and I just need half a pound. So for sprouts, everything was pretty much exactly what I expected. I stick to my list, it should be right around $20. It's pretty far off on this one. So my total at Sprouts was $31.27. I was estimating around $20, $11 over. But I figured out where my mistake was. I didn't include fruit. So the clementines and the apples, that's about $6 over. And then the meat was a couple dollars over as well. So there's your $10. See how quick that could add up? But not to worry, I still had plenty of cash to cover that. And then I also did not have the ramen noodles. Um, so, I mean the rice noodles. Should have got those in there, maybe. We're gonna make do with what we have at home for anything that I didn't make. So, there you have it. That is my grocery haul for December, and then don't forget that that's gonna cover most of the groceries I need in January. So January's grocery haul is gonna probably be about a third, if not a quarter, of the price that I normally do. Don't forget to watch my meal planning video to see an exact breakdown of all the numbers and how we're using which cash budgets to cover what.
And if it has already came out, it will be linked for you right up here in the iCard. So you guys, I need to know what are some of your favorite things that you're buying this month? How are you managing the craziness? What are you doing for your meals for your family during this really fun and busy time of the year? Let's chat down in the comments. Thanks you guys so much for watching. I love doing these grocery haul videos for you. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If there's anything I missed, anything you would like to see in these videos, or just anything that you liked, let me know down in the comments. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye. Here we are at home. All the groceries, the work does not stop when you're done shopping. You still have to put all the groceries away. She's finally here. <laughs> this is a lot of groceries, guys. It's a lot.